Welcome to Blue Briefing. Our video will look at an important paper in the American Journal of Respiratory and Critical Care Medicine. Here we discuss respiratory tract dysbiosis is associated with worse outcomes in mechanically ventilated patients by researchers from the University of Pittsburgh in the USA and Tsinghua University in China. Inflammatory responses have been linked to adverse effects in critically ill patients. However, a comprehensive examination of the biological basis of these heterogeneous responses, including the role of the microbiome, is lacking. In the present study, scientists investigated microbiota profiles in the respiratory tract and their association with inflammation and acute respiratory failure. The researchers first collected oral swabs, endotracheal aspirates, and plasma samples from 301 mechanically ventilated patients. Genetic sequencing was performed to identify respiratory tract microbiota and classify patients into host response subphenotypes. Dirichlet multinomial models were then used to determine diversity metrics and composition clusters and examine the links between subphenotypes and clinical outcomes. The researchers found that the oral and tracheal samples displayed substantial microbial heterogeneity. 35% of the tracheal samples showed low alpha diversity with enrichment of pathogens, which was associated with a hyperinflammatory subphenotype, worse 30 day survival rates, and longer duration of mechanical ventilation compared with patients who had higher alpha diversity and typical oral microbiota. In addition, 17% of the patients with dysbiosis, combining both oral and tracheal samples, had significantly worse 30-day survival rates and spent more time on mechanical ventilation when compared with those without dysbiosis. This research underscores the important and modifiable contribution of the respiratory tract microbiome to host responses and subsequent clinical outcomes. For more details, please read the article by Dr. Yorios D. Kitsios and colleagues. Thank you for watching Blue Briefing.